Hey everybody, it's Kenyon here, and uh, today I think I'm going to be goofing off a little bit in single player Minecraft. Now, this is a little bit different than what you know we have been doing recently. Um, Casey and I have been, you know, doing our little adventure series, and I promise for those of you who have been waiting for episode nine. We're going to be recording in the next day or two, so bear with us here. We'll probably end up recording maybe four or five episodes worth of video, so uh, we'll be good um, after that for a little while. Hopefully you guys will be good with that. But today, I'm in, well, until then, I'm going to be playing a little single-player Minecraft, and I'm going to be playing with the single-player command mod installed in the Minecraft.jar file. And if you don't know what that is, go Google it. Or just watch this video, you'll get to see some of the cool stuff that it has. But I'm going to be goofing off uh, in this video using that. And as you can tell from this video title, I'm going to be doing some things that you probably shouldn't do in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get in. I'm using my world capital TNT. Uh, it spawned me in a pretty decent world. I like it. Um, and I've kind of made it my home. I've kind of built a little castle here, as you can see. Um... But yeah, and there's stuff laying on the ground because I was playing earlier. But um, so if you noticed when it started up, this uh, down there in the bottom left-hand corner, a little thing came up telling about the mod, um, just saying that it was loaded. So yeah, oh yeah, here's a little castle I built, just some stuff. But the single-player command mod, basically what it is, is you know on survival multiplayer, if you're an op, you can you know, give yourself blocks and items and whatnot, but in here, um, and that's about all you can do, other than now you can set the time of day, but in here, you can practically do anything. And one of the coolest features, I think, is you can have the ability to spawn any creature that you want, whether it's a passive mob or an aggressive mob. And so one of the things that I've actually just thought about doing uh, I'm going to spawn a spider here. Now, I do have uh, player damage off and mob damage off, so nothing's going to attack me, nothing's going to hurt me. Um, I'll get to that a little bit later. You'll see. Let's see. I'm going to spawn a spider. I'm going to spawn one of them. See, there you go. There's a spider right there. And even if I come over to it, it's not going to attack me. Um, but what I really wanted to show you right now was if I put the cursor right on it, and then I type in ride... What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> You're riding a spider. And you can pretty much do this with any other mob or um, player, actually. I believe you can do it with other players, which makes for a very funny third-person video. <laughs> but, um, let's see. I wish you could control the spider. Spider, go that way. No, no. idiot spider. Go that, that way. Stupid spider. D oh my gosh. D Urgh. All right, now you're just pissing me off. That way. Go that way. Hey, there you go. You, you're kind of going in the right direction. Go. Bad spider. Bad spider. No, what are you doing? There you go. This direction, not that direction. Towards the tree. No, wrong. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. See, he's still here. Nothing, n nothing, nothing went wrong. I did not kill him. I did not kill my mount. I just got a little trigger happy. That's all. He wouldn't listen. So yeah, that's one cool thing you can do with the single player commands. Um, another cool thing you can do, I know a lot of people have been telling me, you know, in single player and survival and multiplayer, they've been going like, it takes forever to find weather. I mean, you know, I really wish I could, you know, see weather and whatnot. Well, here's your solution. With the single player command mod, you can type in weather and you can type in rain, thunder, or lightning. And rain, whether you're in, you know, a rain biome or a snow biome, it'll start raining or snowing. Um, so I'll do that now and see you can make it start raining. And then you can also turn thunder on and off. Whoops, if I type it in right. Oh, whoops, I just turned it off. You can turn thunder on so that it'll start randomly thundering and lightning. Um, and you can also control lightning. Oh, see, there you go. There was some thunder. You can also 
control lightning, which I think is pretty cool. We point the cursor where you want to go, type in weather, lightning, hit enter, boom. And the, and the fire went out because it was raining. The fire went out because it was raining. But um, you can actually do lightning whether it's raining or not. So I'm going to turn the rain off. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. You can also use lightning in the nether, which is really cool. Weather, lightning, hit it, strikes in the middle of the day. And obviously it'll just go out. But you can do that to set stuff on fire. You can set other people on fire. <laughs> do whatever you want with it. Just <laughs> Like you can install this same kind of mod. Uh, it's called a bucket mod. And you can install it on survival multiplayer. And you can, I can imagine you can do that exact same thing on multiplayer. So you can set other people on fire. You know, do kind of whatever. Um... Let's see, what else can we do? Oh yeah, here's another cool thing. You can also adjust the slipperiness of the surface of blocks. So right now I've got the uh, the slipperiness of grass, its value for, I don't know, it's programming something is 0.5. So that's what it is right now. So I'm gonna change it to 0.6 and you'll, okay, well that doesn't change it too much. Well, let's see, let's change it to slippery grass one. That should make it something kind of like ice, yeah. See, I'm gonna, yeah, see it's still moving. I'm gonna push the up button, stopped, and I still slide, which is really cool. That's that's just cool. So, like, say you wanted to make, like, uh, I know the Yogg's Cast did a golf course uh, video not too while back where they built their own golf course. You can do that on single player without ice. You can make grass your, you know, which would obviously be more realistic, like a putt-putt course, you can make it uh, the field if you change the slipperiness of it. Of course, you can go on the ridiculous edge and go like uh, slippery grass 1.5 and oh snap, and make it go absolutely, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, make it go absolutely nuts. And I'm not on grass now, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, let me chicken. Um, holy crap. <laughs> That's, whoa. That's just not, jeez. That's just not right. Slippery grass, 0. 0.5. That, oh, it made me walk, it's making me walk faster than it should. Um, slippery grass, 0. 0.1. Oh, snap. Okay, that did not help at all. Um, slippery grass. Uh, slippery grass reset. Okay, that's much better. Now it's... Okay, much better. So, I take that back. The default value is 0.6, not 0.5. Um, let's see, that's one thing. Another thing... Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, another cool command you can do with this is the fly command. You see people, people talking about flying around all the time. So if you just type in fly, and then you hit the space bar to jump and go up, and voila, start flying around. It's pretty darn sweet, which just looks hilarious when you use the third person, yeah, <laughs> third person, yeah, point of view. Um. That just looks so goofy. But um, yeah, which is pretty cool. You can also change the speed that you walk, how many blocks you walk. Um, like say you set it to two instead of one, so now you're gonna move twice as fast. When you go down on the ground, you're gonna move twice as fast. But it's also useful for covering long distances really quickly. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh. Hmm. Idea. What layer am I on? I'm on layer 93. And you know there's a 130 layer cap or something you can't build above layer 130 or something? Um, we'll see about that. So much for that. Sorry, I'm just going to leave this little chart on so you can see how high I'm going. And then I'm going to come to an inevitable end. 
What goes up must come down. Let's see, I'll stop around 400. That sounds about good. And uh, I am going to leave damage off because of obvious results. Oh, wow. Oh, holy cow. Went so far away that oh, even got a spike there. Uh, 420 sounds good. Now, what do you think's going to happen when I turn flying off? Hmm. But I didn't die at least. Oh, what is that sound? 